Antibodies are your body's weapon against COVID. So if you can find a way of making them, you can develop a drug to give to people who are infected. Which is what this Cambridge biotech company is doing. Think of it like this. They have found the recipe for antibodies that can fight COVID. They put that recipe into cells in this incubator here, and those cells are making, cooking up the antibodies. Once they're done, they get rid of the cells and you're left with the antibodies, which you can turn into a medicine. They started off with blood from 18 patients who'd had the virus. It was full of millions of different types of antibodies. They then have to find the best ones for COVID. So what we did was we used up technology to funnel these millions of antibodies. So we went from millions and ended up in thousands. Then we use machines such as this to go from those thousands of different antibodies to find the best 10 antibodies that bind and neutralize the virus the best. And you ended up with like a sort of top 10 of antibodies for fighting the virus, is that exactly. right? Exactly, that's correct. They use a technique called phage display to select the antibody genes that defend against the virus. You can then use those genes to produce antibodies in bulk. It's a technique invented in Cambridge by John here. There's been quite a big worldwide effort of groups trying to make their contribution as we have and we've done all of this work off our own uh, funding so we've not been funded by anyone to do it and it's part of a, a desire I think by people in the scientific community to work together to, to uh, make a difference. We're working on plan B which is the, to have the ability to administer antibodies to people who are already infected with the virus and also potentially to people who are not going to respond well to a vaccine. They're now looking for funding to develop a drug that could be tested on humans. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.